Deontay Wilder is actually furious at Dillian White for his failed drug test, and he believes that the right punishment is actually for him to be banned for life. I'm Ross, this is Boxing Pills, I'm gonna bring you the best boxing news, multiple times per week, so if you like boxing, please be sure to subscribe. But back to the video. Deontay Wilder, I mean, he went pretty on, I mean, he was pretty aggressive against Dillian White, and with actually good reason. I mean, this, is, this has been a terrible week for boxing. We lost, actually, two fighters, honor to them. And, and then the same week actually came out that Dillian White tested positive. Now they are allegedly saying for three substances, okay? And that's part, only part of the problem, because, I mean, they knew it three days before. They didn't notify the WBC. They didn't notify Oscar Rivas Camp, and then they went on with the fight. So if the sample B tested positive, they're gonna face huge lawsuits from the WBC, from Oscar Rios, from everyone, and Eddie Hearn is gonna be greatly in danger. And so also Deontay Wilder says, you know, I'm the WBC champion. I mean, he waited for a lot of time to get the shot, to get, become mandatory. And once he becomes mandatory, what do you do? You dope yourself, you take performance enhancing drug, you cheat. I mean, you should decide to be banned for life. And on top of that, I mean, he's also right, because honestly, it's the second time that Dillian White got caught cheating, okay? The first time, he wasn't really found completely guilty because it was a substance contained in a pre-workout supplement. Did he intentionally take it or not? This we don't know, but nothing changes the fact that that's the second time has been found positive for metabolites of steroids, and you do not unintentionally take steroids, okay? So you are cheating in the world of boxing, and of course, I mean, this cheating greatly puts people in danger, and we know that. This has been a hell of a week for boxing, a very sad week, and you know, by doing that, by taking this performance enhancing drug, you actually risk the life of the opponent in front of you. So it's not something to be taken lightly, guys. I mean, people may die because of it. And do we agree with Deontay Wilder? I agree, honestly. Dillian White? should serve as an example for boxing and if the test sample B is gonna test positive that it will, it should actually be banned for life and so maybe this should keep the other people who want to do that a little bit at bay. You know, because you cannot do like Canelo, they found Canelo positive, just six months ban and now he's heavyweight champion again. Uh, Billy Joe Sander is fighting again. So there are, there are plenty of people, guys, that got caught taking performance enhancing drugs and they didn't, didn't face any severe consequences. So what does it do to people? I mean, this actually motivates people to take performance enhancing drugs. Okay, I take a performance enhancing drug. It's highly likely I don't test positive, but if I test positive, it's just gonna be four or five months ban. I can be fighting again. These are nothing to be taken lightly, guys. Two guys died this week. So I believe Deontay Wilder is perfectly right to say what he says. And I mean, he has been a champion for a long time. He never tested positive. And now, I mean, White has lost his shot with Dillian White. And no, no, that hasn't only lost his shot. I mean, actually, he can face a potential eight-year ban that actually really puts his career in great jeopardy. So guys, please, if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video with the best boxing news and have a good weekend. Bye.